Everyone in this whole world starts their lives off with some kind of mutation. The mutations everyone have are inherited by their parents. They are called germline mutations, yet you can also receive mutations meanwhile during your lifetime. A mutation is a permanent change in the DNA sequence of a gene. Mutations can be useful, however they can also be very harmful due to changes in DNA. This can affect the way brain cells behave and mutations typically lead to a reduction rather than a growth of information. The human's DNA sequence of a gene can be altered in several ways. The gene mutations have variable effects on health, but it only really depends on where they happen and whether they alter the function of the central proteins. The different types of mutations are frame shift mutation, deletion, nonsense mutation, duplication, missense mutation, repeat expansion, and insertion. Let's start with insertion. An insertion changes the number of DNA bases in the gene by adding a piece of DNA. As a result, the protein made by the gene cannot function properly. Another type of mutation is a deletion mutation. A deletion changes the number of DNA bases by removing a piece of DNA. Small deletions may remove one or few base pairs with a gene, while larger deletions can remove an entire gene or several neighbor neighboring genes. The deleted DNA may alter the function of the resulting protein. A duplication consists of a piece of DNA that is abnormally copied by one or more times. This type of mutation may alter the function of resulting protein. A repeat expansion is a mutation that increases the number of times that sh short DNA sequences is repeated. This type of mutation can cause the resulting protein to function improperly. Many mutations are bad for you, however, many can be helpful or good for you. Eventually, genetic mutations make genetic diversity, which keeps populations healthy. Many mutations have no effect at all. These are called silent mutations. Healthy people have intrigued by the possibility that genetic testing may tell them more about the future may hold for them. Then they use that knowledge to improve their health. There is no very, there is now very reliable evidence that certain gene variants confer a higher risk of developing breast, overall, or bowel cancer. Some conditions caused by mutations are the following. Scientists have developed a new technique that could stop a genetic disease being passed on to the future generations. It would offer an alternative use to the three-parent IVS baby approach that has recently been made legal in Britain. The new technique uses a single injection of gene editing molecules into a mother's egg cell or early embryo. In order for a mutation to be inherited, it must occur the genetic material of a sex cell. It is likely that most sex cells contain gene mutations of some sort. It is now thought that the frequency of new mutations in humans is about 1 for every 10,000 genes per generation. If this number is correct, every individual will be expected to have 2-3 to three mutations on average. A mutation is a permanent change in the DNA sequence of a gene. Sometimes mutations can be useful, but mostly they are harmful, as changes in the DNA can change the way a cell behaves. As genes are set of heritage materials that contain instructions necessary for a cell to work, so if some of these instructions go wrong, the cell may not know how to function. Mutations are needed so that different alleles can be created, and this will allow different species. Because of this, I believe mutations are important and definitely good to have.